Hi, everyone. My name is Chelsea Krafka, and I am the Director of Religious Education at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I was just wrapping up our most recent bag of um, Sunday school and a bag activities that we are delivering to um, some of our children and youth who have signed up. Um, if you have not signed up for these activity bags, but after watching this video or whenever that you decide that you would like to, please let me know. You can email me at religiousgrowth at unitarianlincoln.org. And um, that way I can put you on the list for the next time. But these are our bags for this round that will be going out probably this next week. Um, you can see our fun bags here have our chalice logo and the name of the student there. These are, um, this bag that I'm telling you about is for middle and high school. I'll tell you about our kindergarten through fifth grade in a different video. So what we have um, is a packet of paper that has some of the lesson plans and such. The very first thing that I'm super excited about that's going in our middle and high school bags this time around is, um, so the theme for these bags are, is our fourth principle, which is that um, we believe in uh, that each person must be free to search for what is true and right in life. And so to speak to that, I asked worship associate Amy Miller if she would be willing to um, write a little bit about um, the concept of not all who wander are lost, which is one of the stickers that we're giving them this time around. Um, and Amy just wrote up this awesome Hobbit and Middle Earth related <laughs> write up um, that relates to that sticker and our fourth principle, which is just super cool. Um, also, we have personalized family chalice lighting prompts. So it says like for celebration and gratitude, we light this chalice to celebrate blank. We are a people of blank, grateful for blank. And together we offer thanks and blank. And this way our middle and high schoolers can kind of think through their own chalice lighting words and what they might write. Um, we are also including a dream catcher in this bag and the story of the dream catcher, which is right here. And um, these dream catchers were purchased from Euphoria and the folks there at Euphoria told me that they were made by indigenous artisans. And so I have a little write up here about what cultural appropriation is and um, kind of speaks to that notion for that activity for our middle and high schoolers. I also have uh, some, some information and example about creating a home altar. So you can see there's some examples there. And then it just has some information like what you might include in a family altar. And um, just to give them another activity to do with that altar, we have a picture frame so that they can decorate it. It's totally blank. They can color it, decorate it however they want and put a picture of someone or something that's meaningful to them in that. Um, I have a sheet about exploring UU beliefs with information about downloading the StoryCorps app, perhaps visiting beliefnet.org and some interview questions for a Unitarian Universalist that goes to our church. Maybe that's their parents, maybe that's a different family member or someone who works at the church, etc. We're also including these story blocks for your search for truth and meaning. It's kind of like creating a story, right? For yourself and what it is that you believe and what's important. So we've got a write up about our story blocks here and these are um, dice. So you roll them and it shows pictures. And then you kind of put together what the pictures and, and create a story for what the pictures show. We also have all of these materials. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but there's a whole lot here. So we have some soy wax. We have votive holders. We have Dixie cups for mixing and um, some crayons and popsicle sticks. And these are all materials so that our middle and high schoolers can make their own votive candle. Look how cool that is. The instructions and like you can just microwave it, mix the colors up with the wax and they can make their own votive candle that can go with their family altar. We are also including some colored pencils and some really cool coloring sheets that have, let's see, there we go. Um, quotes on them. So this one says, enjoy this moment. These are all kind of having to do with our fourth principle, right? 
live deeply, look within. They're all these fun quote coloring sheets. We're made of stardust, fill your life with love. Where does your adventure begin? We live in a universe of possibilities, wish upon a star, etc. And then finally, um, I sent an email to parents, but I'm also including coloring sheets here in case people don't have a printer. But there is the Great UU Egg Hunt, or Great Lincoln Egg Hunt that is going on. You might see some uh, colored coloring sheets that are up in people's windows. That's part of um, a Facebook group and an ongoing project called the Great Lincoln Egg Hunt. And I happen to create and find some uh, Easter eggs that have chalices on them. So we can be part of the Great Lincoln Egg Hunt and also the Great UU Lincoln Egg Hunt as well. So I thought even our middle and high schoolers might want to participate in that. So that is all for our middle and high school Sunday school in a bag for this round. Um, it's a lot of fun and this is a way that we can connect with some of our middle and high school youth who otherwise might not be doing other things or it's just something that's tangible and hands-on so that they can connect with our church. For our middle and high schoolers, we're also offering a Discord app. Um, which is a social media app that they can uh, interact with one another on. Instagram specific for our middle and high schooler group. And um, on Wednesday evenings, um, there, we are joining up with the Omaha middle and high school group. So those plus the um, Sunday school in a bag are all opportunities for our middle and high schoolers to connect with our church while we are outside of the building. So just wanted to share those fun things with you and I will do another video for our kindergarten through fifth grade bags pretty soon. Thanks.